This is going back to back to China. U of A's downtown Enterprise Square art gallery workers were making way for another in a long list of art shows. The temporary Chinese gallery was not part of their large donated collection stored largely on campus. We have an amazing art collection with more than 9,000 pieces in it. So it, it's, it's vast and it's, it's very strong. On display now till the end of November is a donated collection of prints and a sculpture by Canadian artist Charles Pachter. Once something enters into the art collection, we take it quite seriously. It's something that we're going to care for for the lifespan of that object. So we're quite rigorous in what is comes into the collection. So in Charles Pachter's case, he's an artist of national significance. So we think he, and with a connection to Alberta and the university, so we wanted to make sure he was included in the collection. We were very happy to receive his donation. Charles Pachter obviously enjoyed using uh, moose as a medium in his work. Yeah, it's a reoccurring theme throughout his work, so he'll use it in his painting, in his um, print work, as well as in his public art sculptures. And this is a new public art piece that's going to be in the university's collection. We have 29 museum collections on campus, and, and a lot of people don't necessarily know that because they're used primarily for teaching and research, but a, a third really big goal of ours is community engagement, so this gallery space provides us that opportunity. Moose and Queen feature prominently in Pactor's work. He works with iconic Canadian images and draws on um, a lot of Canadian mythology in his work, so he's trying to talk about Canadian identity and things that are particularly Canadian. The prolific Charles Pactor, even after his U of A lecture appearance, his pieces remain. The piece is called The Supremes, and it's uh, Canada's Supreme Court. And throughout Pactor's work, he has, he's quite humorous. He's a bit of a satirist. He draws um, political commentary and some uh, humor from uh, the Canadian, Canadian themes. Some might wonder, why is it important for universities to hold large donated art collections, one that includes, in this case, the remarkable McTaggart collection? The art collection is also used a lot for the Department of Art and Design for primary source materials. Also English classes, uh, zoology classes. The range is, is fascinating of the number of students and researchers from around the world who access our art collection. Because of this new uh, collaboration or partnership that we have with the City of Edmonton, we're also going to be featuring a number of community artists as well in addition to the university's collection. U of A Art Collections in the old Hudson Bay building downtown. For Go Edmonton, this is Tim Dancy.